Hi guys, welcome back to the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the iCarsoft US version 3.0 tool. It's a multi-vehicle, multi-system, multi-functionality scan tool which covers bi-directional controls, all systems within the vehicles, and a lot of special and service functions as well. So we'll get into the vehicle, we'll take a closer look at the screens, we'll take a closer look at what it can do, we'll have a look at the box contents. Very importantly though, if you are interested in buying this tool, make sure you use the links in the description below this video because there are fakes, there are clones on the market, they can damage vehicles. I've seen them damage vehicles before. So if you want to make sure you're getting a genuine and official tool, make sure you use the links in the description below this video. This is the protective box. This is a soft, nice carry pouch to keep the tool inside. This is the tool itself. We'll see that in greater detail very soon. This is the OBD2 connection cable. So one end of this tool plugs into the top of the tool. The other end plugs in to the OBD2 diagnostic port of the vehicle. It also comes with a USB cable and also a user manual. So what is the US version 3.0? Well, it covers multiple manufacturers and it covers multiple systems and functions within those vehicles. So basically it puts the power in the user's hand. Instead of having to take the tool or your vehicle to a garage or a workshop when there's a problem or a fault, it allows you to do these things on your own driveway, in your own garage, uh, in your own time without being inconvenienced. So um, I mentioned earlier where you can buy the tool. Uh, use the links in the description below this video. And how much is the tool? Well, right now, obviously the prices can vary depending on time, depending on the market, exchange rates, things like that. But right now this tool is 195 pounds. So that's probably, in the region of like I don't know $230 that's a total guess by the way um, but it does ship worldwide from the links in the description below the video so one of the things that I want to clear up as well as the manufacturers that it covers uh, it can be quite confusing the, the title of the tool US version 3.0 a lot of people think that it either just works on European sorry US manufacturers um, or US models or cars which are in the US that's a little bit of a myth if we click on the diagnostics, it covers Chrysler, Dodge, Ford, General Motors, Holden and Jeep. And it covers these vehicles no matter where they are in the world, no matter where they were produced. So for Ford, for example, it'll cover the American Fords, it'll cover the uh, European Fords, it'll cover the Australian Fords as well. And it's the same with the likes of everything else basically, the Dodge, Holden, uh, Jeep, General Motors, you name it. So those are the manufacturers that it covers. Now when it comes to system coverage, uh, that is a little bit different depending on the vehicle. Some vehicles will be more advanced than others so therefore it changes depending on the vehicle but ultimately you can you can be assured that this tool will be uh, it'll cover all systems within the vehicle. So we're in a Ford for example so I'm going to click on to Ford and we're going to go on. What we can do is you can either select the vehicle manually or you can just click on to automatically identify the vehicle which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to find the vehicle. I'll ask the tool to find the vehicle which it's done and then we're gonna click on to OK. So it's found the vehicle, and now it's what it's gonna try and do is gonna show us a list of systems that it can communicate with and diagnose within this vehicle. So we've got the likes of the powertrain control module, which is the engine, ABS system, restraint controls, which is the airbags, and then a lot of other systems as well. Parking sensors, cruise controls, body control modules, front doors, things like that. Um, so what we'll do is, uh, those are the, the systems I'll cover, but like I say, it'll cover uh, all systems within all vehicles. Um, what about the special functions or the service functions? I'll show you that as well. So we go to back to the main menu and we click on to the service option. So this is where it uh, it becomes a little bit more advanced, so it allows you to do oil service resets, electronic park and brake, new battery registration, electronic throttle control, steering angle sensor, calibration, DPF reset and regeneration, ABS brake bleeding, injector coding, TPMS reset, suspension calibration, air conditioning, headlamps, body stability, engine seats matching, windows, doors and roof calibrating, fuel pump, engine idle and a few others in the miscellaneous as well. Now. It's important to say that it doesn't cover all vehicles for all of these functions. So if you want to, if you want to double check that one of these functions is suitable for your specific vehicle, um, I'll pop an email address in the description below, and you can use that email to find out as to whether, say, for example, you wanted to do a DPF regeneration on a car, make sure that it is going to be suitable before you go ahead and buy it. So when a, when a fault has occurred, what information does it give? Well, we go back into the diagnostics section. 
and we're just going to do the same again. Select. Oh no, we'll sorry, we'll go automatically identify. Go OK, and then we go OK to that. It's found the vehicle. So we can. What we can do is we can do an automatic scan where it can do a quick test on all of the systems, uh, or if you know which system you want to diagnose, which we do, you just go to the direct control unit. So the powertrain control module is the engine system, and you can see that we've got a check engine light showing on the dashboard of this car. So we're going to click into powertrain control mo uh, module. We'll click into read fault code, and we're going to go down to retrieve DTC. So it's giving us one fault code here. So that's the fault code, that's the unique fault code. It's telling us there's one fault there. And this is giving us the um, information, ignition coil C, primary control circuit open. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and we're gonna click clear fault memory. And what that should do is get rid of the check engine light. There we go, check engine light is gone and it's now seeing a raise operation done. What you can do to double check is just go back in to try and read the codes again. It's telling us no fault code is found. So that's how it will work for the engine system. Um, we can, we've got the airbag light showing on there as well. I'll go into that just to give you a better idea of how it all works. So again, we've got a unique fault code. Uh, we've got one fault. If you weren't necessarily sure what this information meant, then what I would recommend you do is put the, copy the fault code and the description of the fault code into a Google search engine and the answer will be there. You can guarantee that if you're getting a fault, somebody else will have got the fault as well and the answers are all there on forms, what people have done to fix the problems. This time we've got right side airbag deployment control circuit open. Um, so we found a loose connection underneath the driver's seat, but it needs to be, we put it back together, but the airbag light won't turn off until you use the tool to actually reset it. So we go clear fault memory, keep an eye on the airbag light when I do this. And there we go, arrays operation done, airbag light has been turned off. So what about live data? It does give live data as well. I'll give you a quick example of that. So we go back into the engine system, go to view data. And this might take a few minutes to initialize or set up because there are lots of different parameters within the engine system, uh, lots of different sections of live data. So uh, we'll just take a moment to allow the tool to do this. So there we go, it's got 248 in fact. Um, so these are all of the, you know, the kind of the live data sets that you can get. which is quite phenomenal, the amount of information it will give you. Um, and what you can do is you can just go to like select, um, select the ones you want to take a look at. So I'm just gonna go, I'm just selecting some random bits of information here. be an interesting one and then once you've done once you've selected what you want you just click on to done and it shows you what you've selected I like how it tells you the fuel level as a percentage as well actually uh, but that's just like a, a really small shot snapshot of what you can do if you've got a diesel car it's good because you can get a lot of uh, DPF um, suit content information as well um, so how much are the updates for this tool? The updates are free for life, which is a fantastic little feature. Um, the how to update it, well, you just need to actually plug the tool with the USB cable. There's a USB uh, cable slot there. You plug it into your computer and then it's, it's all very straightforward and very simple to do. Uh, but there is a manual which explains exactly what you need to do to get all of the uh, the live data, uh, sorry, the, the updates. Um, but it's very simple to do. Now. How does it compare to, there are a few other tools on the market, like the US version 2.0 and the uh, the FD version 1.0. So there's like a version 1, a version 2, and a version 3. Um, this is way more advanced. This will do everything that the previous two generations, the version 1 and the version 2 tools will do. Um, it covers a lot more service functions, a lot more special functions, and the software on it is just an altogether better package because it's built on a newer platform, which means it can open the tool up to a lot more newer vehicles which some of the, um, the Vision 1 and the Vision 2 tools really struggle to do so they recognize that the 1 and 2 tools weren't perfect 
and they've tried to correct that with a new platform and it is a lot a lot better so if you if you're wondering which one to go for between the one two and the three I would definitely go for the three but obviously it all really depends on what your needs are and what your budget is as well um, if you need help or support, you just need to simply contact the, uh, the people you bought it from or your supplier. Um, at Diagnostic World, they'll give you, they have like quick links to the official iCar soft engineers, so they can help you out with regards to that. It can print faults as well. What you need to do is you need to save the data onto the SD card, which is in right there, and then the data was transferred to the, uh, the PC or laptop. Okay. Uh, when it comes to languages. We'll have to go back to the main screen. Uh, we go to the setup. No, wrong place. Setup and language, and these are the 15 languages that it will cover. So we've showed you the box with instructions. Obviously, it does come with a user manual as well. Um, and it's, it sort of shows you basic information on how to do certain functions uh, and what certain things within the tool actually mean. Is it easy to use and would I recommend it to somebody who has never used a scan tool before in their life? I would say absolutely 100%. This tool is um, idiot proof if I use that term. It's like, it, it, you can't go wrong with it. You can't damage the vehicle with the tool. It'll only let you do certain things and it won't let you sort of change certain settings that can, can't be undone or anything like that. So it's a very safe tool to use for anybody who's never even touched a scan tool before. Uh, what are the other icon menus? Well, we've, we've covered the diagnostics, we've covered the service. The OBD2 section, this is a, a really quick, useful function as well. Um, this allows you to diagnose other vehicles other than the tools, the, the vehicles on here. So say, for example, you had a BMW, a Mercedes, an Audi, uh, or Honda, Lexus, and you wanted to, you had an engine fault, you can diagnose engine faults on all vehicles using this one here. Uh, it's not a touch screen, sorry, I know I'm doing that, but you do you do need to use these dome screen uh, buttons here, which are really good to use, in fact. Um, then you can, the review is if you've, like, recorded any data, you can review the data you've recorded. You go to voltage, that gives you minimums and maximums from the uh, the battery reading. Uh, OBD2, OBD, oh, sorry, DTC lookup. If you want to look at the meaning of, like, a fault code, so, like, you had, like, a P301, this is going to be an injector cylinder one fault, cylinder one misfire. Uh, so it just allows you to look at the meanings of certain fault codes. Uh, set up the tool, we briefly touched on that. You can put like a little beeping sound on as you go through the menu. I prefer to keep that off though. Um, you go to factory reset, then you can go to a help pages, and this just gives you bits of information about. Uh, basic scan tool information and then we go to about and that gives you the software version um, UID numbers etc so that is just real in a nutshell of this tool it do, sorry it doesn't double up as a tablet either so like some of the more expensive tools there are like tablet based this can only ever remain a scan tool and you can't download apps onto it or anything like that. And delivery is one to two working days. So providing you use the links in the description below this video, uh, you'll get that tool within one to two working days. And it comes really nicely packaged and it is altogether a really good package for anybody who's interested in maybe looking after their own vehicle or they, you know, they, they want to do a service on their vehicle or they just want to sort of get the sick of being ripped off by a garage or you want uh, to double check that what a garage saying is true. Okay, so thanks for watching. Remember, I'll pop the links in the description below this video. Uh, make sure you do use those links because they are the genuine and official links um, to this product. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.